Hi, I'm John Myatt. I'm the CTO for Networking Infrastructure at Imagine Communications. And I'm really excited this year about IP transition and doing everything we do today as television infrastructure providers over IP. IP gives us a lot of cool things. IP lets us scale to really, really large facilities easily. If you've ever tried to design a facility with an SDI router, you realize that at about 1024 square, there's this kind of cutoff where it gets very hard. IP puts a cutoff in there too, but their cutoff is more like 10,000 ports where it starts to get hard. And that's actually bigger than most facilities are ever going to get. If you think about audio scalability, it's even bigger. A single 10 gig interface will hold 6,000 channels of audio, and a typical switch will have lots and lots of 10 gig interfaces. So suddenly we can have separate breakaway audio for every signal in the plant with really not a lot of penalty. It's an incredibly flexible system. The other thing that IP lets us do is to bridge into the software-defined universe. So instead of every signal processing box in your plant being a piece of hardware from vendor A or vendor B, now you can use commercial off-the-shelf computing platforms from typical computing vendors, HP, Supermicro, whoever's your favorite, and then you can run applications and move into a microservices-based environment for processing, for encoding, for ABR transcoding, and so forth and having all the signals in IP is an enabler of this. So this lets you be incredibly flexible and nimble. So when production comes down the stairs and says, I want to launch a new channel, you say, what's it going to be called and when do you need it? Instead of, oh, that's going to be really hard. It turns engineering within a, within a plant from being the department of no to the department of yes, we can. That's a great feeling.